Okay, so we tried to smash a TV tonight, but uh, the reason we're smashing, well, we actually did smash a TV, but the reason we're smashing a TV is because I want the ultimate photograph of a television being smashed. I can see it in my head, but it's not an easy thing to do, right? So, we have the TV here, and we'll have that other video, it should be there. Maybe we'll try and post it, but have a flash trigger that I built on uh, on the t television and we had two cameras set up here the one camera's gone but you can see the two tripods and uh, we had a flash shining on the television and I also took the television apart and put another flash inside the TV and then put the TV back together so ideally what was supposed to happen was that when the crowbar oh yeah and we got the crowbar. Can you zoom in on this? I added an LED to the end of the crowbar. We got the batteries down here. I put that on the camera so that when the shutters on the film cameras were open, you could see the streak of light from the LED and get that too. So in the photo, there would also be the streak of light so you could see the motion. Because normally, the flash is just an instant, right? So you would hopefully be able to see pieces of glass like floating in the air that haven't hit the ground yet and uh but it just looks like the crowbar is just being held there to get to capture those in time and then also get the motion of the crowbar and then the flash inside was supposed to illuminate from the back and make it look uh almost like it sparked inside the tv or something right oh yeah and we also had two cameras set up side by side like this so that if we were able to get both photos at the same time, what you could do is develop the two different photos, put them side by side, and then view them with stereoscopic glasses, and it would appear 3D. But the flashes didn't go! So we're going to have to try it again once we get another TV. <laughs> 